Way. Way. Yo, what's going on YouTube? This is CJ. For all of you all new to the channel, if you never had a chance to meet me, here I am in the flesh, baby. I got my brand new $2 dollar tripod, and now I can finally give you all some FaceTime and uh, get this series really going like it should be. So, uh, basically, this is part two to my new series I started for you guys. Filming reef tanks with your cell phone is what I called it. Reason for it, you know, I did a search on YouTube and didn't really, you know, I didn't really find anything as far as information on what people did to record their tanks with cell phones. I found different information with professional cameras, white balance, different things. But for the average hobbyist with a cell phone, a fish tank, and a YouTube channel, this series is for you. Basically, what I'm going to do is go through my routine on how I uh, stabilize my camera, how I get through, you know, dealing with the blues, which is the pain of everyone with the root tank. You know, you can't can't film with your phone bleeding out. And uh, once we get the basics down, we're gonna go ahead and dig right into my methods of editing videos, my thoughts when trying to prepare to record. Uh, it's a lot of a lot of thoughts to go into this, and I'm gonna break it up over this series. And you know, I can't put it all in one video, otherwise, you know, you you'll be looking at. It. I mean, it'll probably be a good hour worth of video, and I know some of you guys like long videos, but me personally, I feel like it'll just be too much. So, uh, with that being said, that covers the introduction to the channel and to the series. All right, so let's get into ambient lighting first. I'm not going to dig into it. It's, it's pretty common sense. Uh, nothing scientific about it. Just anything that's going to reflect off your tank. Now, me personally, this tank's in my family room, so there's really three or four things I have to make sure I account for before I start recording my videos. One, the biggest thing, it's gonna be sunlight. I have a uh, patio door with blinds that if it's you know early during the day, there's nothing I can do to stop that sun from coming through. So I just don't deal with it. I try to record my tank during the evenings or during the time when the sun's just not you know, bright. Now, if you guys have uh, you know, blinds that can block it out, hey, do your best, stop the sun, from reflecting off your tank. That's number one. Number two, things inside your house, uh, lamps, TVs, anything um, that you may, you know, not account for, you may think it's not going to really affect it. It does. I promise you it does. Uh, especially, I got a TV right there that if I hit my tank, my, my uh, recording from a certain angle, I'll see it. I'll see it on the video. It drives me crazy. That's just the amount of detail I pay attention to when I make my videos. So basically, kill all the light in your room. Turn off the lights, turn off the TV, turn off anything that is going to create any kind of distraction for your camera. Because, you know, as I said before, we're dealing with a cell phone camera. It's not, you know, high tech. It's not high quality. So we got to do everything we can to help it. So once you're done with ambient lighting, the second thing, some people may overlook it, may not think it's important. If you may notice uh, on this tank right now, there's no screen top on it. I have a screen top that I run on my tank all the time. I have fish that jump. I have things that are suicidal, and I have kids that may get lucky and make a three-point shot and have something land in the tank. So I got to have something to protect it. So by all means, I use a screen top. But when it comes to filming, take it off. If you have any tops on your tank, screen tops, glass tops, anything that's going to stop the light from penetrating into your water, take it off. Now, a lot of you guys are in a situation to where you can't, you can't do that. Hey, I'm sorry. I, I just, I'm just telling you some things that uh, will affect it. Now, from what I've noticed, the reason for it, it seems like um, whenever you have a glass top or a screen top on your tank, it seems like the blue light is the light that really makes it through the most, and the white light, which is what you want when you're recording, is, uh, is getting dimmed out. So I've noticed a huge difference just in removing my screen top and the clarity of my videos. So don't overlook it. For guys who don't have any tops, hey, skip this step. You don't need to do anything. But if you have a top, take it off. It's going to make a huge difference. So we covered ambient lighting, tops on your tank. Now, the biggest one of all, and it should be the obvious one, but a lot of people overlook it and don't pay attention, adjusting your lights. Now, when I say adjusting your lights, I'm talking specifically about the blue spectrum on your lights. Now, some of you guys have T5s and you know, uh, certain setups to where your lights are not adjustable. Once again, this is just one of those things that will affect your video. If you can't change it, you know, I can't really help you with that. But if you do have adjustable lights, like uh, for example, LED lights I have, they are adjustable. Now I can 
adjust each channel individually for the blues and for the full spectrum or the white lighting basically what I do is I take the blue lights and I turn them down not all the way I have a ratio of about three to one uh, for blue versus white I've noticed anywhere in that range you start to really uh, see the benefits of turning your lights down if it's half and half you really don't notice it it's it's kind of a know your tank and you know learn your camera kind of thing what I recommend you do uh, set your camera up in front of your tank take your lights slowly crank down the blue go back check your camera re refocus it you know to see how it's looking turn the blues down some more check it again once you find that sweet spot and you will know when you get it because you'll be like damn you know hey the tank actually is looking looking decent remember this is not using any gel filters this is not using anything extra it's just using your stock camera your tank and your lights uh, once you get that sweet spot write it down because trust me finding it again every time is going to be annoying write it down so that way you, when it's time to record you follow your routine you know set your lights to the same setting every time your videos will be consistent and uh you know it'll become a fun thing and not a headache so definitely something to do and now when i say uh adjusting the lights i'm actually going to show you on my lights how i do it now i will say uh, i failed to mention i do record everything using an iphone 6s plus i have the 128 gig one so plenty of room and the power of this phone is really amazing as far as the camera and now i've tried android phones before and i'll tell you definitely is a huge difference so i'm not sure if you will have the same success but just figured i'd throw that out there now if you didn't notice the lights are changing on the tank started at 80 percent i'm slowly ramping them down and adjusting the focus on the phone as i go and you can really start telling the difference between 80 and 40 percent not really that much but once you drop below 30 percent that's when things really start to come clear the contrast of the colors of the corals really start making a difference now i'm gonna take it all the way down to no blue at all but anywhere between 10 and 20 percent is where my sweet spot is as far as me recording my videos as you can tell 15 percent i mean it's really really starting to look good so that's pretty much where i stick with my videos but everyone's tanks different so i just want to make sure i share this with you all you definitely have to take your time tweak it to your own needs tweak it to your own camera's ability and just roll with it now one additional tip i can give you as you can see right now this is straight white or full spectrum lighting right now if you find that uh, adjusting the blues is not getting the job done for you the next thing you can do to, to start tweaking your lights after you lowered your blues is start to increase the whites you may need to do that depending on your phone to really start to get the contrast right just remember to write it down all right so we're finally at the end of this episode just to recap uh, setting the mood is is the theme you know setting the mood dealing with ambient lighting outside your tank turn everything out make sure the room's dark to where the only thing lit is your tank and the focus is only on your tank step two remove any screen tops any lids anything that's gonna disrupt the light from penetrating into your water it's gonna affect your videos step three it's gonna be the biggest one adjusting your lighting as I've shown you before go back through your settings if you can if you have a light that ramps down each channel individually find that sweet spot remember the light you see with your eyes when you're looking at the blue lights it may look like there's no blues on at all you know, your tank will almost look like it's too white but your camera will pick it up and it just takes a tad bit of blue for your colors to pop on video that's the key thing I can tell you so uh, with that being said that's going to conclude episode two um, as I said before you know this is purely a series dedicated to you all and your input is valued so uh, the best question or the best uh, idea for episode three will get featured in the next video I will give you a shout out feature your channel and uh, show you some love so once again hey that's gonna wrap it up for episode two so as always hey you guys like comment subscribe you guys do what y'all do y'all be easy before you go definitely go stop by Isaac Torres Reef's channel hit that subscribe button show him some love he dropped a comment on my first video asking about white balance and they help inspire episode two next week it'll be a new winner